feel that snarl pick up at the end of game one. Let's see if it carries over here into game two of this series tonight. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. The Firebirds have it behind the net. From in close! They score! And just like that, it's a 1 0 hockey game. Well, it started like a free train just steamrolling their opponent, James. I of this game that tells me one thing they were prepared coming in so much of the goaltending position is tracking the puck and trying to get the sight lines james and with only one player in front you might lose it for a second but if you out battle and out will the person in front you're gonna find it unfortunately this puck it beats him clean coachella valley's on the board just like that and this crowd we thought it was hot before it's gone next level already. Well, it has because it's the opening minute of the game when they score, and this is exactly what they wanted. You want to elevate the crowd. You want to get the momentum behind you. Man, they were on there often, and they dictated the pace. And we'll get a reset after the puck goes up and out of play. We're still in the early stages of this period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Coachella Valley's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Quick pass to Lynn. Quick shot. What a stop. Colorado's regained possession of the puck. With some open space at center. Shot. Too much congestion in front. Treacher's going to keep and hang on for the whistle and just slow it down a little bit here. As a goaltender, you always have to be mentally focused and ready to make a save, James. He hasn't been busy this period, but they're in the lead, so it's a safe play he elects to hold on. The Eagles will go to work here in the offensive zone. And he's ridden off the puck. Moves it to Kiro. Colorado's got it along the wall. Coachella Valley's got the puck now. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Denied by the goaltender. Picked up along the wall by Lynn. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Here he is with the backhander. Oh, it's denied by home. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Coachella Valley's offense is off to a good start here in the early goings. Wright's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And skilled use of the stick to hook the puck away. Big stop right there. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task and kill this off. The Eagles will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, in a one goal deficit on the power play now, you have to take advantage. You have to find a way to get the coverage moving and find good scoring opportunities. Scores! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it. James gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. Well, this is a real tough play for a goaltender to get a read on, James. You're in that inner slot area. The puck's on the backhand, fighting for position and getting it off quickly. That's a tough one to read and a reason why it goes to the back of the net. Still plenty of time left in this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Puck scooped up by Schooneman. Nice poke check. Scooped up along the wall. He scores! What a goal! A pair of goals just 20 seconds apart. Cheryl, you stress consistently. Keep your feet moving on the ice, and that pays off. Well, they got the pedal to the metal right now. They're like a freight train. Well, these below-the-goal-line goals are so difficult to track, James. I mean, when the puck carrier's below the goal line, everyone's turned puck focus, toes are turned, and the shooter gets lost in coverage to a quiet area of the ice and makes himself available for the pass. He delivers a one-timer that just beats the goaltender who's still looking at the puck. And off the face-off, they take possession. Good defensive stop with the poke 
check. Uses the force on that hit. Taken along the wall by Ivan. Slick feed. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Great post by Studenich. From one point man to another. Colorado's got the puck in their own end. Middleton's crossed the line and is on the attack now. And a strong effort on that play. A chance on the slot. Stuffs him again. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so... Scores! They strike again and that's three unanswered goals. Over and over. You can see the excitement on the bench. They know that they've deflated and they push their opponent back on their heels. They need to keep plugging away here and not get complacent. More than half the period left to play. The Eagles have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Collins won the draw. Takes the feed and center and moves up ahead. Uses the boards with the bank pass. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Hinman. Misses over the net. Uh, he looks to get this one off quickly and just gets up under the puck. And that one sails right over the net. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. Comes up with the stop. And the puck's knocked loose. Make a change, make a change. Solid kick to slow him down. Quick feed to Wesley. Oh, there's a great stop by Drieger. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Receives the pass. Here's a short pass to Robertson. Denies it in front. Listen, James, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges to set ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. Centers glide into the dot as the face-off ready to resume play. Coachella Valley's got it in the offensive zone. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. And he takes the dish. On the attack along the boards. Taken, and he rings the post! doesn't get extended and man they would have loved that one for the extra cushion but it goes off the post and out sends it to the middle and Karen's off a twig in front of the net Chase right in front and he gets in front of the net picked up along the board by Richardson oh there's one more every coach is going to tell you get in front of the goaltender and take away their eyes it's the goaltender's job to find the puck he finds it and makes the save the Firebirds carry it along the wall. Slides it diagonally to Flurry. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Colorado's looking to break out. From the open ice, they gain the line. Takes it to the front, and he elects to explore his options. Coachella Valley's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Penalty coming up here. The Firebirds have been handed two minutes for hooking. Well, listen, a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Hollins at the faceoff dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. And they'll start with possession. Shot in front! That's blocked! Can't hang on after that hit. Colorado's got the puck. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Grabbed along the board by Hayden. And they clear that puck. Shenemans lugging the puck. Quick pass to Holland. Up along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Holland. Fires it on net. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it up. 
When that shot came quick and it was right out front, he had to be sharp, he'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Coachella Valley's PK unit gets their man out of the box. But this power play unit will not be happy. Not only didn't they execute, but they had a difficult time making even crisp passes and attacking seams. They gotta be better. Play set to resume with the face off ready to go. The Eagles get a hold of the draw. Quick pass to Melanson. The Firebirds cross the blue line and are on the attack. The Eagles have it from their own end. Well, look at this, Cheryl. Here we go. The parade is officially underway. It certainly is, and everyone in the building, you can hear the crowd just jeering with their frustration, including everyone on the bench, completely deflated right now. A non-stop procession with a penalty box for the home team. Colorado's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. Scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. 
It's a much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. here in the open ice. Loves the puck into the offensive zone corner. Moves it quickly over to Hayden. And that goes off the glove and it stays out. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. win that offensive zone face-off. The Eagles move the puck in the defensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Kiro. Colorado's got the puck in the corner. Big time stop. He goes all over that shot, makes an incredible oh, save, getting to the top of his crease. Big save, just as time runs out. First 20 minutes of play is in the box. Both teams get a chance to refresh and reset, and we'll be back with second period action in no time. Look for our food donation boxes located throughout the concourse. And we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two. It was quite the one-sided tilt in the first 20 minutes. Let's see if that continues here in the second. Trying to get back on the attack now. Here they come on the attack. The Eagles gain possession along the wall. Slides the pass over to Hunt. Puts it on net. Comes up with the stop. Griegos really struggled tonight, and the team in front of them as well. They've got to find a way to get back on track. They need to... Switch the momentum at this game if they want to get back in it. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Slides it on over to Tuck. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. And it's a quick pass to Hughes. Here's a race for the loose puck. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. The Eagles continue to lead big here in this second period. Foti has won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. The coach and team reminding each other that this is a critical faceoff. Anytime you've got your opponent on their heels after an icing, you have to find a way to have urgency and attack. Quick pass across to Hayden. And now he moves it quickly to Lynn. Coachella Valley's on the attack. Burks moving it ahead. Coachella Valley's got the puck. Hayden's taking it from his own end. Shot. Oh, that's off the blocker. What a stop by home. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities, and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Moves it to Lee. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Quick feed to Hughes. And he's knocked off the puck there. Colorado gained possession along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Lynn. Oh, trying to pick his corner and puts it off the outside of the post. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. The Eagles are off to the box. Interference the call. First opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setter. Picked up by Richardson. Made the stop on the play. expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence.
This is a great power play goal, James. They have the execution in terms of their passing along the outside, and then they attack the net with a shot. You have to have net front presence and create a screen. That's exactly what they have, and they capitalize as a result. Coachella Valley's been outworked all night long, but they finally got something they can push back with now. Yeah, they've got to continue to push as well if they want to give themselves an opportunity to feel like they can get back in this one. And that's going to start with some hard work, the good old intangibles, and the feeling that they can get back in. And it all starts with execution, though, James, and you have to play physical. The Eagles are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. The Firebirds once again send out their power play unit. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup, and then is it working tonight? And they move the puck out of harm's way. Melanson's got it along the boards. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. The Firebirds gain possession from their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. The Firebirds played along the boards. Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by home. Ivan's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Firebirds take possession here inside the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Schultz. Slides the puck over. Here's a short pass to Schultz. And that's blocked. Colorado's got possession while undermanned. And they send it down the ice. Both teams back to even strength. Impressive job by the penalty killers on that play. Power plays have the opportunity to really dictate pace and change the momentum of the game. And this one didn't do any of it, James. Certainly frustrated as they head back to the bench. Poked away by Schultz. Quick pass to right. The Firebirds take it along the wall. Off target. It's hard to say whether they make them like they used to, but this is a tough one. He's perfectly set up, and then it craters on him, just snaps in half, and he's on his way to the bench for a new one. The Firebirds have time to work with, but they need to convert on one of these scoring chances as they are trailing here in the second. Puck grab by Fleury. And he takes the pass. There's a shot. Snagged with the glove by home. Handles the puck. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Studenich is stick handling in his own zone. Sends the pass over. And that one's turned away. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. The setters will glide into the dot. Right, okay, right Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. The Eagles gain possession in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. And that's intercepted by Studenich. Sepala's moving the puck through his own zone. He says, let's get physical on that play. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Takes the shot. Oh, tremendous save on the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Inside the offensive zone. Nice connection on cross-ice pass. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. Great reach with the poke check by Olsen. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Colorado's got it behind the net. Loose puck battle along the boards. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. Fires it! Oh, what a denial by home! Takes the puck behind his own cage. Takes it at center. Takes the puck at the point. Here's a shot. Oh, he makes a save. Just got enough to keep it out. Wright's got it along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Smallman. And he takes the feed. Sent into the offensive zone. Sends a pass over. 
Rice got it across the line. Centering field! And tackles off someone in front. Moves the puck. Colorado's in all alone on the breakaway! Up and makes the save! Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of the streets, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Bodies won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. And he shuts the door again. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Great use of the stick at center by Burke. Penalty coming up as the play is blown dead. Well, you can see the coach looks skyward on that third call of the period. They know that they got to get back to even strength and get some kind of offense generating. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. The power play has seen success tonight, and I like what they've been doing, James. Just reading the ice that they've been given. Nothing static, a lot of motion, and really reading where the place is to attack is. Carrick's gained the line and on the attack. Reaches out and uses the stick. Picked up along the boards by Lynn. Centering pass, and that's stopped. Goaltender covers up, we got a stoppage in play. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Colorado's gonna start with the puck in their own end. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Gets it over to Hughes. Takes a shot. Oh, I thought he was gonna be beaten and he somehow got a piece of that. Holland's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And loses possession after a solid hit. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Ivan's almost out of the box. Colorado's penalty killing unit delivers in a big way. Both sides back to even strength. Well, being on a power play is a privilege, James. Trust me, I know I was never on it. When you get out there, you have to have some urgency and find a way to get it to the middle of the ice and get some opportunities on net. There was none of that. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. Under a minute to go here inside the second period. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Colorado's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And he blocks a shot. Great defensive play. Melanson's got the puck. Here's a shot. There's a great close save by Holmes. Play to poke it away at the offensive end. Grabbed along the middle by Hinman. Here's the shot. Then it goes off a stick and off to the side. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. Join us for our next team practice, which will be open to the public. Admission is simply by donation, with all proceeds going to local charities. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The goals, coaches, are going to be telling them, listen, you got to just trust the process, stick with the game plan. I mean, for 40 minutes of play, you dominated possession. Continue to do what you've been doing, but don't get frustrated. Don't panic and force the play. It'll come to you. Picked up along the wall by Hayden. Moves it to Hughes. 
And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. The Eagles take possession off the face-off. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Tries to feed it over to Hayden. Colorado's looking to break out of their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Takes it to the net. Just gets enough to keep it out. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Carrick. And that's off target as it hits a body. Into the attacking area from the left side. Scores! And look at that, the rookie gets in on the playoff scoring. Now talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. But your coach is preaching all the time. Take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. The Eagles gain control of the puck against the wall. What a chance, but it goes up and over the net. Well, it isn't easy to create good quality scoring chances in the game today, James. So when you get them, you got to make good on them. I understand he was going high, a little too fine, and he misses the net. Works it across to Ranky. Here's a shot. Oh, Trevor saved by Hull. He carries the puck up along the wing. The Firebirds have it now. Trying to shake the defender all alone. Hey, I'm not really sure what happened there. It looks to me like he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do, and in the interim, he ran out of space. Here's a short pass to Podorowski. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Quick pass to Podorowski. Here, Cheryl. Well, it certainly makes the deficit look better. And listen, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but that's the starting point. If you want to be able to claw your way back into this one, you got to build off that last shift. The Firebirds don't really have time on their side here, but at least they've got something to push with. Yeah, really tough hole to climb out of, but certainly that one goal will give them a little bit of a lift. It's respectable. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Hunt's got it in the offensive zone. Dead eyes on the play. Beads the puck over to Studenich. Here they come on the attack. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Coachella Valley's got a hold of it along the wall. Angles it over to Podorowski. The Firebirds will play it in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Podorowski. Pass to the front. And he's got the answer for that one. And he slides it quickly to Reiki. From the slot, denies him. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. The Firebirds still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Oh, he got puddled by Trigger. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Teams are lined up and we are ready to take this draw. The Firebirds get a hold of the puck in their own end. And he moves it up to Robertson. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. And now it's over to Kiro. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And that play's broken up. Moves it quickly over to Hunt. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. 
close enough, but he's still got the puck. Poked away in the defensive end. Moves it to Robertson. Here they come on the attack. Chance in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Quick feed to Smallman. Penman's got it now deep inside his own end. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Coachella Valley's got a hold of the puck. Now he slides it up to Hayden. Tries to the paint! Smith's got it in the defensive end. Here we go, one man rush. Here's a shot, and that carries off a body in the lane. Nice zone entry from the middle. Takes possession. Here's a short pass to Hayden. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Coachella Valley's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight, trailing in this third period. The Firebirds win the faceoff. Hammers one. Quick stop by Holm. Quick pass for Lynn. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Coachella Valley's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Here for the face-off after a great shift there, Cheryl. Yeah, in the offensive zone, they have all the momentum. We'd be surprised to see a little stall at the face-off here to give their goaltender a little extra breather because he has been under siege, and you can see it on his face. He needs a rest. The Firebirds have it against the wall. Coachella Valley's got a hold of the puck. Mosey puts it over Tangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Who had the better night? Carlin is standing by. Hunt's had the upper hand in this battle, guys. His scoring prowess was on display, and it's a big reason why I'm giving him the edge here. Moves it to Hunt. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Here's a chance, and he turned that one aside. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Both teams gliding into position, and the official set to drop the puck. Rice won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. Melanson's got it against the boards. Passes on front. Moves it again. A ton of goals on the board tonight, and you know that both teams are looking to pad their stats. A lot of players in on the action. That's got to give you confidence and make you feel good. And that was stopped. The Eagles have it now. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Scoops up the puck. And there's the save. Let's see what the officials are calling. The Eagles have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. has just been average tonight, James. Not been really awful, but certainly hasn't been great. But that's the good part. You can make a difference right now. Quick feed to him. Fantastic save! For point blank. Oh, and what a save as he gets that one, too! I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Good stand up hit. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. They gain the zone from the left side. Oh, and a huge save. A 
Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Wright's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And he serves it across to Olsen. And he misses that one. Coachella Valley's played a pretty good offensive game here. They just haven't been able to capitalize. It's got the extreme. Oh, no! Oh, God, it's another play! Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Coughs up the puck after that hit. The Eagles take it along the wing. Centering feed! And that's intercepted! No room for that one to get through. And somehow he hangs on. Winterton's got the puck in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Melanson. Slides the puck to Olsson. Quick pass to Wright. Here they come on the rush. Close save. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. The Firebirds need to find a way to convert one here late as they trail in the third. Hughes has won the draw, and they'll go on the attack. And the save! Jostled off the puck. Under a minute to go in the third. Slides the puck across. Takes the pass. Shenneman's gonna play it against the half wall. Scores! It's in the back of the net, and I think he knocked it in there, Cheryl. Oh, that is such a deflating goal and a real tough one for him to take. I think he lost sight of it, didn't know where it was, and as he turned around, he knocked it himself. Oh, that's a tough one to take. Oh, he's got to be sick to his stomach, James. That's such a deflating goal. He thought he had as he's looking for it. He just pushes it into the net. That's frustrating. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face-off. Colorado's got the puck in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Coachella Valley's got the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. The Firebirds looking against the half wall. Takes the feed. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. Well, after one team jumps out to the early 1-0 lead, there was the counterpunch that we expected tonight to even the series, show. Uh, I think we're getting a little bit of a snapshot as to what this series is going to look like, James. And, you know, you get down one, and you know that you've got to claw your way back in. you got to split, because if you go down two, that's way too much momentum and runway for your opponent. Well, hope to see you down the road real soon as we say goodbye here from ringside tonight. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.